for most mathematician doing mathematics uh, starts at a very early age uh, i believe uh, most mathematicians when they are children uh, maybe at the age of 10 or 12 already they have uh, perhaps a distinct interest in mathematics and uh, uh, that is what drives them on to uh, put uh, more and more effort in uh, sharpening their mathematics. Uh, certainly this has been also the case for me. I was certainly quite interested in mathematics. Uh, I can also say, and this is also true for many mathematicians, that uh, perhaps for them mathematics becomes the only love. So I think uh, I was certainly not interested in history or geography or uh, uh, painting, uh, not in biology because uh, I think one had to remember lots of uh, names. And uh, so I think uh, uh, for many mathematicians uh, already in middle school, uh, they show distinct interest in mathematics and uh, uh, they also usually do quite well in mathematics and I also did quite well and that becomes one of the reasons to continue doing mathematics because you have been doing quite well and uh, maybe it's also clear that uh, you are also not doing so well in languages or, uh, or other subjects. So I think uh, mathematics becomes like a focus of one's interest. So. Uh, I started being interested in mathematics early on and uh, opportunities continued to come and I continued to uh, go on with it. Uh, I'm happy to be in a profession which I enjoy. Um, I have been trained mostly uh, in India till my early graduate school. Then I got my PhD from Harvard uh, under the supervision of Benedict Gross. Uh, I finished my PhD in 1989. So by now it's uh, quite a long, long time ago. Uh, I have, uh, after finishing PhD, come back to India. Uh, so I have mostly been in India, but I do travel to uh, many places for conferences. I have also spent uh, longer periods of stay, uh, more in the USA, uh, such as at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. I have also spent some time in Chicago and also in Berkeley. Uh, uh, but also I have uh, uh, known uh, and been to France uh, uh, many times. I have known many French mathematicians. Um, India, in fact, has uh, a very good uh, collaboration with the French mathematical community, which has a long tradition, because of which many French mathematicians come to India, especially to the Tata Institute in Bombay, where I am working. And uh, I have had occasion to meet uh, many French mathematicians. And I have also been to Paris uh, to meet some of these people. So I would say uh, French mathematics is uh, indeed one of the best mathematics done anywhere in the world. And anybody who is pursuing mathematics will inevitably uh, have to uh, interact with the French mathematics and I would certainly say I have had my share of interaction too. Right, so during my uh, chair here, I arrived here in January uh, on John Morley chair. Uh, uh, the person who proposed my name from uh, the university here, ex Marseille University is uh, Professor Fokker Heyerman, whom also I have known for many years. Uh, so when he proposed 
my name for this chair. I was indeed quite happy to have the opportunity to come to Marseille. Um, I have been to Marseille, but maybe not for extended periods. And I felt uh, it would be a good opportunity. I um, have uh, interacted with him well here. I also know Professor Labes and Delorme. And uh, uh, yeah, in general, uh, uh, I am somebody who since travels uh, has been uh, in touch with some of these people. Right, so uh, my research is basically in the subject of uh, automorphic forms. Uh, uh, it is maybe a subdivision of the larger subject of number theory. So number theory is a very large subject. It has many facets uh, going from analytic number theory to algebraic number theory to transcendental number theory. Uh, what I pursue may be regarded more algebraic number theory and uh, the subject that I pursue myself is uh, uh, driven by the visions of uh, Robert Langlands and often is called the Langlands program. Uh, so this is a program which uh, has been around for last 50 years and has had many very uh, excellent uh, successes in last decade or so. Uh, so I am quite happy to be in a subject uh, which has been uh, very actively pursued and which will continue to be actively pursued. So I myself have uh, been interested in uh, what are called branching laws for representations of uh, both real and PRD groups and also some uh, automorphic representations. Some of the questions that I continue to pursue have uh, origins in my thesis done at Harvard. So uh, when I was uh, uh, doing my PhD and uh, after a few years, uh, I collaborated with my advisor Dick Gross uh, where uh, we proposed some conjectures about these branching laws uh, based on, so to say, future solution of the Langlands correspondence. And I feel quite happy that uh, uh, in last few years, many of these conjectures have been proven and proven right. And in fact, I should also say that uh, uh, much of this work was done by the French mathematicians. So, uh, Walsh-Perge uh, is the person who did most of this, and he also collaborated with Collet-Morglan and Collet-Morglan, and also with uh, one of his students, Raphael Bourgeois-Plassis. He has also done very impressive works. So. I feel quite happy that uh, something which was uh, proposed maybe without, uh, uh, without the hope that we will see a complete proof about two decades ago has now been quite uh, well established and it has been well received by the mathemati mathematical community. Uh, about two years ago, there was a workshop and a conference in Paris on what has come to be called Gan gross prasad conjectures. So this was uh, two, two summers ago in Paris. So indeed, since the French mathematicians uh, have done major of the work and uh, they were all in Paris, uh, it seemed a very appropriate venue. Uh, so indeed, for me, it has been very satisfying. I think, uh, as I already said, uh, Fokker Heyerman, whom I have known, uh, proposed to me the, that uh, he would like to uh, have my name for Chair Morley. And I was quite pleased because uh, 
I think it gives me opportunity to uh, to be in a different place and uh, maybe it helps the mind to be not just in one place but uh, to travel, to meet different people, to be involved in different activities. Uh, I have also uh, been happy to be in France. I have been only to Paris before but uh, Paris is a very big city and a different kind of city than Marseille and uh, I thought uh, coming to Marseille would give me a different perspective to France, a country which uh, I greatly admire. Yeah, so uh, this has been uh, quite a uh, busy and eventful uh, semester. I arrived in the beginning of uh, January. Uh, soon after arriving, we had already planned a small uh, um, a workshop uh, around the work of Vincent Lafour on his recent proof of the uh, Langlands correspondence for function fields. So, Vincent Lafour, um, maybe about two years ago, has uh, given a very um, general framework in which uh, the Langlands correspondence uh, can be understood, and uh, uh, this work is remarkable because. Uh, Unlike other works which are specific to either GLN or classical group, this work is for all reductive groups, which is like the framework in which the subject should be understood. And uh, indeed, this work of Vincent Lafour has been uh, making a lot of waves in our subject. And uh, uh, I was happy to be involved in this activity in which Vincent Lafour himself was here. So he came here for this uh, uh, mini workshop uh, in the second week of January. So this was the beginning. Uh, then uh, uh, the next activity which was there was uh, middle of March. We had one of the research in pairs activity with uh, Paul Brousseau and Francois Cortez from Poitiers. Uh, uh, these two people also I have known, of course. Uh, I have been interested in some of their recent works, which is related to something which I thought about, and I made certain proposals about how something should uh, work out, about uh, uh, these questions, uh, about uh, distinguished representations. And uh, they have used some very novel methods from uh, geometry of uh, buildings associated to PRD groups. Uh, I have uh, seen their work, but for me, when they came here, it was a very, very good opportunity to talk to them in more depth and detail about their work and to realize many subtleties about buildings which uh, I should know better, but I did not. So I think for me it was quite quite good, very good to have uh, them here for two weeks. Uh, and research in pairs activity is something in which uh, every day we meet and discuss and we eat lunch together. So uh, it's also to get to know people. I think it's uh, very good. So this was in March. Uh, then the main activity under this uh, John Morley chair was uh, in May. There was a doctoral, a doctoral school for PhD students mostly, but there were uh, several postdoctoral fellows and some more senior people who came to attend uh, what could be called uh, instructional school, in which uh, uh, the idea is to bring them up to date with certain topics and not necessarily go into research. So uh, this program had four main speakers. I was one of them, Fiona Murnaghan from Toronto, Omar Offen from Technion, and uh, uh, 
and uh, there was uh, Bardelesco. Bardelesco uh, also gave a series of lectures. So we all gave a series of four lectures, and then there were uh, one day in which there were uh, lectures from some specialist in the subject. So five day activity on this doctoral school and this was followed next week by a conference. So the conference was on the general theme of relative aspects in uh, Langlands program, uh, a subject which is uh, basically what I pursue and uh, uh, I, I was indeed quite uh, happy that such an activity took place uh, in which uh, I uh, of course knew most of the people but uh, uh, CIRM uh, gives one opportunity to interact with them closely, to have lunch and to have dinner with them. Uh, and uh, uh, I was very happy to meet many people whom I may be meeting after several years. Um, I think uh, from the feedback one got from participants, both these activities have gone very well. So it is satisfying to have been involved in running these two programs. So this was last two weeks of May and uh, then last two weeks of June or maybe second and third June we had Colette Morglan coming here for another research in pairs activity with me and Fokker and uh, she is uh, one of the persons who knows a certain aspect of the subject uh, which uh, I, would, I would like to understand, which many would like to understand. And uh, it was for me a real uh, uh, experience to interact with her mathematics. Uh, she is uh, uh, very, very enthusiastic, uh, uh, working from morning till late in the evening. And we discussed quite a bit and we ate lunches and dinners together. And uh, I think it was a wonderful experience. So I would say uh, uh, my stay here has been uh, very good, very good. I'm very happy with uh, various aspects of the John Morley activity which have been conceived. Uh, I would say research in pairs uh, seems a beautiful idea. We also applied to NSF. Uh, I requested one of my colleagues from USA, from American University, Jeff Hakim, to ask him whether he would like to write a proposal so that uh, American participants could come to this activity and NSF could bear their uh, travel and some parts of their stay. And uh, I'm happy NSF quite generously supported this program. So I, uh, I'm also happy. It also means that it was a worthwhile program to have uh, been supported by NSF. Well, I would say the two research in pairs activity have been most fruitful to me because uh, I think uh, I do meet people, but uh, this allowed me to interact with them one-on-one -on -one for two weeks. Uh, and this um, makes for friendship, uh, allows one to talk about various other details of one's own subject. Uh, uh, but the fact that these two people are here and uh, we are there to discuss a common theme, I think uh, uh, makes it conducive to interact well. Yeah, so for me this was very good. Of course, running the workshop and conference uh, is uh, uh, satisfying maybe in a slightly different way because uh, now in the workshop uh, students are involved and uh, one always feels that for uh, the strength of any subject, uh, the next generation needs to be trained. So. I think uh, uh, the success of the workshop also makes one happy, but uh, uh, I would say for me interaction closely with uh, 
people which uh, research in pairs allowed was uh, was maybe mm, I think more may have more lasting influence on my own research. The mm, activity right in the beginning on uh, geometric Langlands program, which was around the work of Vincent Laforgue. That also was very good because it's not a subject I think about so well. And uh, I got the feeling after a week of uh, both uh, workshop lectures and the conference lectures that uh, now if I had more time, I could plunge in. So I think that's a happy feeling too. Well, I think a mathematician has uh, both uh, long-term and short-term goals. For the moment, I have been working on, it looks like, longer-term goals, certain projects uh, which have been going on for at least two, three years, and I was hoping to finish them. I have made progress, uh, some or reasonable progress, but I did not finish them. So. That's not so nice, but that's, that, that is how uh, research is. I think uh, one hopes, but uh, always there are issues to be, to be considered, which one may not have anticipated. I would say that uh, John Morley chair allowed me to be in a new place. Uh, I have been very happy to be at CIRM. Uh, I think uh, people are very friendly and uh, I had a wonderful time. So I would say the chair, the chair allows a foreign mathematician to come and be in residence and maybe experience a foreign culture and uh, new mathematics. So, I think new, uh, mathematics anyway I experience uh, uh, all over the world, but I think uh, to me uh, this experience of being in France and being in CIRM was also a valuable experience. I think uh, mathematics uh, wise also, uh, as I said, there have been many events around the chair and I think they have all been very, very nice. So no, I think, uh, I am returning home tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is uh, 1st of July and I will uh, uh, go um, more or less feeling that uh, uh, I have achieved something real. Yeah, so uh, as I said that, you know, mathematicians have uh, uh, short-term goals and long-term goals and I am still working on some projects which need to be finished and I do hope to finish them in the coming year so that would certainly be the most uh, pleasing thing but uh, on the other hand uh, uh, mathematicians go to conferences and workshop and are invited to give lectures and they have students and uh, they need to interact with uh, PhD students and uh, so uh, already when I return to India this weekend, next week, next week I'm going for a conference. And uh, I am going to speak on one of my students' work. So I think uh, the uh, somehow work of a mathematician to me seems like a bit without boundaries. I think uh, it's not as if uh, now I can take a rest for the next three months and <laughs> I think it has to continue and I'm happy to be uh, continuing in this vein. Uh, it was already suggested to us in the beginning that uh, John Morley activities could be brought out in the form of a book which I think uh, Springer Verlag lecture notes series uh, seems to have some co collaboration with CIRM on this. Uh, and uh, uh, we have spoken to various people who were involved in the activities during the semester and several of them are quite happy to contribute. So I am reasonably positive that uh, activities done during this semester will have uh, 
maybe some of them will come in a printed form in this book to me it has been a, a real pleasure to stay here i have uh, gotten to know many people uh, and it has been most pleasant most pleasant i should maybe especially mention celine montebeller she has been associated with the chair uh, and uh, therefore with me more than anybody else and uh, she has been one stop solution to all my problems so i take this opportunity to thank her to thank uh, cr the director who also has always been very encouraging with his words and uh, i whenever i go to the library or whenever i go to the dining hall people are always smiling and uh, i think it's a wonderful atmosphere i would certainly say that i will miss uh, cr environment oh so yeah house yeah so in fact uh, uh, this is the first time uh, in my life that i have a three floor house to myself I have grown up in a joint family so then we had a big house but that was a long time ago and since then I have only lived in smaller houses so uh, this seem like a privilege maybe it's not all that big but anyway it makes me feel good that I had a three floor all to myself and uh, no house is very good house is very good I would uh, recommend future John Morley chair uh, holders to think about staying in the house because uh, I think staying in the house allows you one to be more uh, nearer to Siam and also to explore uh, uh, the mountains, the forest, and the sea. I mean, uh, I could more or less take a walk uh, either to the mountains or to the sea every day. <music> <music>